So we're going to look at solving uh, some quadratic inequalities in this video. And I've tried to keep them uh, mostly factorised. Uh, one or two we're going to have to factorise towards the end. Okay, And I really want to just point out some things that you just need to look at and consider when you're doing this. So if we look at number one, uh, we've got x plus 2, x plus 5 is less than 0. So it's already factorised for us, ready to be sketched. So we're just going to sketch that quadratic and I'm not going to bother drawing in the y-axis in, in any of these. Okay, It's not uh, asking us to sketch it properly. It's just being used as a diagram to identify the region. So x plus 2, x plus 5 is a parabola that would look like this uh, because we'd have a positive x squared. It's going through minus 5 and minus 2. And it's asking us, where is the parabola below the x-axis? Well, it's below it there. That's where the curve is below the x-axis. And so because there is one region, there is one inequality. OK, so that is the inequality we would have. OK, so let's have a look at number two. Uh, we have x minus 3, x minus 8 is greater than 0. So we're going to sketch the parabola. It's a positive parabola again, uh, because we have the positive x squared. It's going through 3 and 8. So 3 and 8. Um, we're being asked, where is the parabola above the x-axis? Right, so now it's above it here, so for those values, and it's above it there for those values. OK, so there are two distinct regions. And so for that, we must have two distinct inequalities. OK, two regions, two inequalities, three regions, three inequalities, 100 regions, 100 inequalities. OK, so you should always have as many inequalities as you have regions. Right, let's have a look at the next one. x minus 2, x plus 5 is less than or equal to 0. So this is a parabola that would be crossing through at minus 5 and 2. Where is it below the x-axis? Well, it's below it there. And because we've got the equality sign on the, in on the inequality, the equality sign must be here as well. So minus 5 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2. OK, so number four, we have 2x minus 1, 3x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So go straight in with the sketch. We'll have a positive parabola again, because we'll have a 6x squared, positive 6x squared, when we expand the brackets. So we're crossing at minus 5 thirds and 1 half. And where is the parabola above the x-axis, well, it's above it here and here. So because we've got the equal sign in the inequality, this is less than or equal to minus 5 thirds, and x is greater than or equal to 1 half. Two regions, two inequalities. OK, so now we get on to number 5. Now, number 5 is 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 is less than 0. OK, so this needs to be solved first or factorised. If it can factorise, then that's the way we can go about it. So if we start off with 2x squared plus 7x plus 3 is less than 0, if we multiply the 2 by the 3 first, 2 times 3 is 6. So two numbers must multiply together to make 6, but add together to make 7. So that would be 6 and 1. So we can split this into 2x squared plus 6x plus x plus 3 is less than 0. Factorise the two halves. So we'd have 2x, x plus 3. And because we've got x plus 3 there, we're going to have one lot of x plus 3 there. And so it factorises to 2x plus 1, x plus 3. Now you may have been able to spot that straight off. OK, that's perfectly fine. Um, but remember, there is a method that can get you there as well. So this is a quadratic I need to factorise. I'll have a positive x squared. It's crossing through at minus 3 and minus a half. So minus 3, minus a half. 
Where is the parabola below the x-axis? Well, it's below it there. So minus 3 is less than x, is less than minus a half. Okay? So it's all about... Uh, getting everything onto one side of the equation of the inequality to get that zero, okay, which I've conveniently done for all of these uh, to start off with, and then solving the uh, quadratic that you have to identify where the parabola is crossing the x axis. So let's have a look at number six. 3x squared minus x is greater than zero. So we're going to factorize that bringing the x outside of a single bracket, 3x minus 1 is greater than 0. So that is a parabola, a positive parabola, that's crossing through at 0 and 1 third. So 0 and 1 third. Where is the parabola above the x-axis? What's well, above it there and there. So x must be less than 0 and x must be greater than 1 third. OK? And that's number six. Number seven, nine minus four x squared is less than or equal to zero. Now, you could at this point move everything onto one side, uh, onto the other side of the inequality. I'm going to stick with it being there. Um, and this is a difference of two squares. So we would have factorised to 3 minus 2x, 3 plus 2x, and that's less than or equal to 0. Now, we've got to be more careful with our sketch here because we've got a minus 4x squared, and so this is a parabola that looks like that. So this is crossing at uh, minus 3 halves and positive 3 halves, so minus 3 halves, positive 3 halves. Where is the parabola below the x-axis? Well, it's below it here and there. So x is less than or equal to, sorry, minus 3 halves, and x is greater than or equal to positive 3 halves. And that solves number 7. So we have to be a little bit careful with the shape of the parabola, otherwise everything's going to go uh, the wrong way for us. So number 8, 2 minus x and 4x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 0. So if you multiply this out, you get a minus 4x squared. So the parabola must look like that. It's crossing through at 2 and minus 5 quarters. So minus 5 quarters and 2. Where is the parabola above the x-axis? It's above it there. So that's that region. So minus 5 quarters is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 2. And that solves the final inequality there.